while we're waiting for some sort of real decisive uh, direction from, from either central bank, is the BOJ more in focus? Is the carry trade with the yen still the go-to trade? And, and how long will that be in vogue? Now, Japan is a completely different case. Inflation there is a solution, is not a problem. They are happy to see persistent inflation. It is above the target, but not that much higher. And they have a long history of 30 years of deflation. Yeah. They managed to exit their conventional policies without actually causing a market panic. If anything, yeah. actually, it didn't really look like an exit. So we think that they will remain very cautious, leaning on the other direction compared to other central banks. And to a large extent, dollar yen depends on the Fed. If the Fed does not cut rates, dollar yen can go to 160. If the Fed starts cutting rates, it can go to 142. How big a risk is there of intervention near term today, tomorrow? I, that's a scenario that may emerge over the next few weeks, months. How much pressure is there potentially at the moment for the, for the Bank of Japan, Ministry of Finance, to do something in the near term? And is the market ready for that risk? I think it is expected. I think it is very likely, but it will be more like leaning against the wind. They know very well also from past experience that these interventions, they don't work. It's mostly a threat so yeah. that they will create some caution in the market, some two-way risk. But I think they know very well that everything depends on the Fed. If they just buy some time with the intervention until the Fed starts to cut rates, yeah. it will be fine. But if the Fed does not cut this year, there is nothing these interventions can do. But you said if the the Fed does, you could see dollar yen at 160. What levels do the risk of intervention increase at? I've seen numbers anywhere from 152 to 155. What numbers are you looking at? I think 152 is a critical level at this point where we will expect intervention. In the scenario in which they do expect the uh, Fed to start cutting this year. But if the market price is not cut for this year by the Fed, they will realize that the level will be higher. Yep. So they will be more flexible in this case, as long as it is driven by forces that are external to Japan.